happy day after resurrection day. Love you, you wanna say hi, I know. Say hello, say hello. Anyways, you guys, I hope you guys had a great, can't see you, hope you guys had a great Easter yesterday. I'm pooped, you guys. Um, I think I just worked really hard this weekend. I feel like it was like a non-stop situation. I mean, I was doing a lot. And um, I'm happy that <laughs> the holiday is over and that we can get to our regular scheduled programming. And um, what's going on? So today, right now, I'm getting ready to paint um, some um, dresses that I had in my old house. I'm gonna keep them and paint them so that I can put them in my room now because they really don't match anything now because I got new bedroom furniture. But they're really, really good dressers, um, nightstands, and they're black. So I just got, I'm just gonna paint them and uh, so that I could still use them. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. Getting my paint brushes and um, I had to get some 409 out of so that I could clean it off really good first. Oh, I can't forget this. This is like the most important thing of everything, my coffee. So uh, what's going on? Amari's on spring break, you guys. I know a lot of kids are going back to school today while the kids here in Georgia well, Gwinnett County, I should say. I don't know about the other counties, but this county, they're out of school this week. So they go back next Monday, which, you know, I look forward to their vacations because that give me a little, come on, girl. Come on. Gives me a break from getting up early in the morning. So, yeah, let me show you guys the, the nightstand. Let me just put this stuff down here. What's up, girl? Oh, sorry. So here it is. I don't know if you guys could see it or not, but this is the stand. Get over here, lovey. And it's really, really good, really nice. I just need to change the color. I have to change the color. You guys, this plant right here, has been in my storage for the last five months, okay? And those plants are still alive. They're um, like cactus, I guess, they're cactus. But I haven't watered them, I haven't done anything, and they, they've been enclosed for all of this time, and I just brought this home a couple weeks ago, and it's still been in the garage, and I still haven't put water on it, and they're still alive. So I have to take them up, get water on them so that I could like, I might need to even replant them in some better soil. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna get going with uh, painting this dresser so I could get it over with. By the way, today's a beautiful day outside. I'm watching Lovey, making sure she don't run off nowhere. But all right, guys, let's get started. ready to start painting but I wanted to show you guys the paint that I'm going to be using I got this from Home Depot I've never really used this well I have never used this brand so I hope it's a pretty good brand um, a lady recommended it to me because they don't have a lot of colors for um, the chalk paint and as you guys know I love chalk paint because I don't have to sand and go through all of the unnecessary work that's just I don't I prefer not to do that so I did get paint and American decor never heard of this brand but we're gonna figure it out today if it's good or not
All right guys, I took a break. I had to go to Walmart, grab a new brush because the brush that I had wasn't doing it all the way for me. It was leaving a lot of streaks. And it was a cheap brush because I was using it on little small projects around here, but I needed a better brush. So I ended up um, getting these brushes instead. Um, Linzer. This is the um, brand and Best Professional. I don't know if it's a professional brush or not, but it's supposed to be, it's gonna be a better quality than the other brush that I had. And um, it has um, a big one and a small one. So you have a one and a half inch and then a three inch. So that's what I got. I got some, um, some spray paint for my finishes for the handles. So I'm gonna spray paint those this color and then i just saw a little video on youtube the guy he um painted his dresser white and then put a a stain on top of it and wiped it off so it kind of gave it like a, a an old kind of look but it's not bright white but i think i want to try it i may try it in like a small section first to see if it comes out right before i do the whole thing because i don't want my husband to be looking at me sideways and then I just brought this little cheapy brush um, to do that part with. So this is what I got so far. I ended up just doing the, you know, around the base more. I mean, that came out pretty nice, but I don't like how this is looking here on the sides. And I'm on the phone with Babe, so that's what you guys hear. He's working. I don't have my earpiece. And then you see how... The brush that I was using, it was leaving these streaks, but I almost got like a roller brush, but uh, the videos that I've seen, people were using, ooh, look at this little bug. See that little creature right there? Little pincher bug. Oh, if it was any bigger than that, I would have been running. But anyways, I saw that um, people were using um, brushes so that's what I'm gonna use and um, yeah I'm gonna get back to my little project so I'm still out here working on this dresser I'm not a fan of this paint because it's too many coats that I have to put on here for it to be considered a chalk paint. I think it's thinner than most of the paints that I used. It's even worse. Well, I would say, I wouldn't say that. I want to say that the paint that I used to paint my stand in my office, I bought that from Walmart in the crafts department. And it applied way nicer than this paint here. American chalk paint, I do not recommend, okay? Um, it, it's streaky, it's thin. I think I wanna say I applied like three or four coats on here and um, it dries fast. It's just, it's just taking way too long for one dresser. I've been out here all day. So anyways, you guys, I did do a little small section of the stain and I think I like the way it turned out, but I have to let the rest of the dresser um, dry before I put it on any other spot. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the area that I did already. So this little part here, I stained. I don't know if you guys could tell the difference, but I stained it and I used this paint or stain with the brush and then I just wiped it off with a rag. And I made sure I wore some gloves so that I don't stain my fingers, my nails and stuff like that. So here's what's it, what it's looking like so far. I guess while everything else dries, I will start to um, spray paint the knob that's, that's on here. So we'll see. Another thing that's a bug that really made this project difficult is the fact that the drawers don't come out. Like, that sucks that the drawers don't come out because it would have been easier for me to get like all up in the cracks if these drawers came all the way out, but they don't. So I had to like work around it and possibly 
one might be stuck right now. So I'll have to um, do what I can to get it out. I'll be happy when this is done. And I have one more to do, but I don't think I'll be doing that soon because um, this, was, this was work. This was a nice work. Even though I have fun doing it, I love doing these projects, but it took way longer than what I expected. So I just wanted to mention that. So you guys will be like, why didn't you take the drawers out, London? That's why. Alright guys, so I'm going to let those dry, hopefully they're good. It looks like a pretty color, color I expected. Um, I might have to do it one more time um, when I flip them over on the other side. So, so far so good. Have you guys heard of this trick? Putting your uh, paintbrushes in a plastic Ziploc bag and putting it in the refrigerator so that they don't dry out if you're gonna use them again. I think it works because the one brush that I was using earlier, you guys remember I said it was a cheapy brush. I put it in a Ziploc bag, put it in a refrigerator, and it's nice and moist. So I'm gonna, um, I put the other ones that I got in here as well. And I'm gonna put them back in the refrigerator because I'm done painting for today as far as that dresser, like the white color. Once it dries, that's what it's doing now, it's drying. Once it dries, I'm gonna go back in to um, go over it with the, with the um, what is that stuff called? The tint or, you guys know what I'm talking about, the brown stuff, the watery brown, the stain. There you go. I be having a brain freeze all the time, you guys. I'm getting old. Anyways, so once that's done, I'm gonna do that. I'm excited about that part because I'm anxious to see what it's gonna look like. But I'm gonna put my brushes in the refrigerator because I just might go ahead and paint the other dresser while the brushes are still wet and I have more of that paint. And while I'm in the painting mood, look at, look at this little girl. Look, you guys, you have to see Lovey's hair. Just wow. You okay, lovey? Can you see? Can you see? What happened to your, your ponytail? I swear she's really like a little kid. Now I gotta brush her hair because it's all look like she's been rolling in the in the dirt. Come on, lovey. Come get your hair comb. Come on. Come on. I'm gonna comb her hair. You wanna get your hair comb? Huh? Do you wanna get your hair comb? Huh, lovey? You say hi to your friends today? Lovey has a whole, um, this is her little kit. Her comb, brush. She has uh, her little bowls in here and some rubber bands and she know about getting her hair cut I'm just so sad that when we took her to PetSmart the other day they chopped all of her hair off all her little hair is gone poor my lovey what lovey lovey I can't find her other brush I think it's in her room Little girl. All right. Say hey, y'all. Eyes back. Say eyes back. Look at her. Yes. No. Now she looked better. All right, you guys. So I think I'm gonna wash my hands and um, probably find me something to eat because I haven't ate all day. And I think I'm hungry. Are you? Are you hungry, lovey? No, you. I'm sure you. I'm sure you ate. Did you eat? 
Did you eat today? Did you eat? All right, guys, so I've started staining the dresser so far and I'm working on it, but I just want you guys to see how I'm doing it. This is like the fun part of it all. So I'm just dipping my little brush in here. You gotta be careful with this stuff because it splashes you guys so but it's it's really easy to apply I was a little intimidated at first but now and you guys hear babe in the background he's on the phone as always with us and I did get the drawers open but I really wanted to bring the camera back out because I wanted to show you what it was looking like because I'm losing light uh oh outside wax on wax off isn't that pretty I'm like I am loving this how it's turning out how it's coming out wish I can get these dress this drawer out but not how it works guys so I have to work around it just take my time with it but I did want to come on and show you guys what it was looking like so I won't be able to probably show you the finished product until tomorrow because I wanted to um, show you guys what it looks like while it's still bright and you guys can get a good look what it's looking like with the with the light So, I'm going to add some here. This stuff is really easy to use. And then you just take your rag and wipe it off. And it gives it such a really nice color. And I love how like in the grooves, it kind of has like, it's dark in there as well. Gives it like an older look. Sounds like he hung up, but that's all right. Oh, I love it. I'm loving this so far. So yeah, guys, that's what I'm doing. I'm still out here working. Anyways, guys, um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, but I'll be back before I end the vlog. I think that's what I wanted to say. So I'll show you guys the finished product before I end the vlog. But this is it for today, so tomorrow, you'll see the finished product but it will be on this same vlog all right bye guys for now good morning guys so it's the next day and i'm finally finished with this nice stand and i am so happy the way it turned out so i'm going to show you guys so that i can end the video all right you guys so here you have it I ended up painting it all white and then staining it, giving it a different wood color, brown. Um, the stain came out pretty good. I'm happy it's different. And I just like the fact that it's not all white because I was a little concerned about it being white and my other dresser being like a mahogany color in my bedroom. So. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. What do you guys think about how it turned out? I don't know. Let me let you guys see the the knobs. I painted the knobs and the handles, the um, brown color as well. And they came out pretty good. They dried really well. Has like a nice sparkly um, shine to it. So I'm happy overall. Finally, I'm done. It took forever, but is done i am thinking about going ahead and starting on the next one to get it over with and uh at least while i have all the items out and before i put everything away so anyways you guys thanks so much for hanging out with me and um comment down below what you think and as always you guys i'll see you in the next video bye guys